Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil 3D Pro Designer. Today we have exercise number 3 for chapter number 5. Uh, sorry, chapter number 9. That how to apply sub assemblies that can use targets. Sometimes we do unusual things in design during the design of uh, sub assemblies and assemblies and we leave these minor changes in the creation of assemblies later we will face some destruction due to these little things so that's why you must need to pay attention on these sub assemblies of targets so let's start our tutorial exercise number three enabling target behavior uh, before you can use targets within your corridor you must apply sub assemblies that have targeting capabilities civil 3d comes with hundreds of sub assemblies each designed for a different purpose of application some of these sub assemblies can use targets and some cannot for example the basic lane sub assembly that you used earlier does not have the ability to target anything so if you would like to use a width or offset target to incorporate a turning lane a pull off area or some other feature into your corridor you will have to use a different sub assemblies so in exercise number three uh, we will add some assemblies that will enable the corridor length width to vary and the corridor to tie to an existing ground surface. As usual, write, I tell you not poking, write down all the steps uh, for the later practice with practice drawing, which you can get from the description link. Step number one, open the drawing name, adding a target sub assembly. It will open in your AutoCAD Civil 3D and you have three viewports. So step number two, I will go drag with all step without wasting your time and step number two we have opened the tool palette window here we have tool palette window for assembly and click the basic tool if you are not on basic if you are somewhere else you can click here basic and you are now on the basic sub assemblies panel step number three click basic lane transition if you have basic lane transition it will open the properties dialog box step uh, number three we are going with step number three on the command line type R or you can select replace and uh, press enter to invoke I already uh, click on replace so I don't need to press enter Step number four in the upper right viewport. Here we have right viewport, upper right viewport. Click the right lane sub assembly. It was our right lane sub assembly, and when you will see, select an attachment point for the highlighted sub assembly or press enter to accept and continue. When you see this message, you need to select the, the upper left point of the curb and 
gutter this here we have the curb gutter and it is and it is our left point so you have selected it now step number 5 repeat the previous two steps for the left lane sub assembly again select left lane and go to the left curb gutter sub assembly and select the point right side of the curb gutter point okay so step number 6 press escape to clear the selection and command click the assembly base line it is our assembly base line it will show you the contextual tab of uh, sub assembly and assemblies now click assembly properties here it will open you the dialog box for assembly properties step number 7 in the assembly property dialog box we need to do some steps go to the construction tab and click group 1 twice when you will click twice on group 1 you need to change that to right it was our right and you can do it you the same procedure for the left side left okay and under the group now name right rename the two sub assembly here we have uh, right lane need to do it right lane and for that we need to select we need to do right curb so it will help us later to now every entities for the left side we need to do same left lane for the curb left curb once once you have done this step click on the right lane here here right lane and under the input values here scroll down you will see transition value on the default input column click twice it will open some options and select hold grid and change offset click okay and now for the left lane repeat same hold grid and change offset okay step number 8 click okay to close the sub assembly property dialog box and return to the drawing 9 step number 9 on the basic tool pellet click the basic side slope press escape to clear the selection and you need to select basic slide basic side slope cut ditch okay and step number 9 we have done step number 10 click the marker in the upper left corner of the left curb sub assembly 
for the basic side slope cartridge we will draw some del ice and if we are drawing on the left side we will select this circle and for the right side we will select and click on this circle now step number 11 press escape to clear the current command and click the right basic side slope cartridge this one and then click sub assembly properties here we have sub assembly properties and on the information tab of the sub assembly property dialog box change the name to right daylight because it is our right daylight press ok and clear the selection with escape then select again step number 13 select again left side and press sub assembly dialog box repeat same left daylight press ok step number 14 escape to clear the selection and save your drawing so you see that how can we adjust our target for our assembly and how can we manipulate with different entities in AutoCAD Civil 3D and you also have learned in this exercise about daylights so hope you like this video if you are new on my youtube channel please subscribe civil 3d pro designer and you can also access me through my facebook page civil 3d pro designer here you will get many more material about civil 3d